Hello, it's me, Cafe. Do you love science? I bet you are. Do you know who are the people who study in the field of astronomy? Come on, let's find out. The notable astronomers in the modern astronomy are Nicholas Copernicus, Tycho Brahe, Johannes Kepler, Galileo Galilei, and Isaac Newton. But today we will focus to Aristotle, the Greek philosopher, and Galileo Galilei, the astronomer. We will study their concept of motion through experiment. So I prepared the materials that I will going to use, which are the crumpled paper, a flat sheet of paper, and a book. Activity 1 Activity 2 1 3 go Activity 3 The three activities you watch is for today's activity. You will see that to my YouTube channel. I created the survey questionnaire. Do the slow motion. Can you figure it out? Let's find out. So I got 13 responses in ages 17 to 48 years old. Let us start answering the guide questions. Question number one. In all three cases, which object reaches the ground first? These answers come from the questionnaire survey. Based to their answers, for activity one, the book, and a flat sheet of paper reached 15.4% for two people. Next, for activity 2, book and crumpled ball of paper reached 69.2% for nine people. And last, activity 3, the book with the paper top on it reached 53.8%. So, the highest are the activity 2 which is 69.2% for 9 people. Question number 2. In activity 1, what causes the flat sheet of paper to move sideways? They have all the same answers like gravity, force of gravity, air. But this one caught my attention. This answer came from Janelle Monino. A friend of my eldest sister. He said, air resistance I think. The less massive the object is, the more the force of air resistance slows 
the object down as it falls. Question number 3. In activity 2 and 3, why did the objects fall at the same rate regardless of their masses? This is from Janelle Monino. He said, In activity 2, the crumpled ball of paper has less surface area. That's why air resistance doesn't affect the crumpled ball of paper that much. In activity 3, the flat sheet of paper is on the top of the book. And the air is blocked by the surface of the book. So definitely, they will fall at the same time. The next answer is answered by... Alan the second Dolfo, who is precious to me. He said, I did not agree that the both objects fall at the same rate regardless of their masses, because the air really matters. But if we can remove the air, then the nature of gravity will tell us another possibility. And I agree to that, because the air really matters. For the last question, Whose view is more acceptable and why? I picked three answers and they are from another close friend of my eldest sister, Heidi Samante. She said, Galileo, since the gravitational force is what pulling them toward the earth is corresponding to their mass and their inertial resistance from that power is likewise relative to their mass, giving a typical speed increase for all bodies in a gravitational field. The next answer is from Junel Monino. He said, I guess it's Galileo. Galileo laid down the first accurate laws of motion for masses. Galileo measured that all bodies accelerate at the same rate regardless of their size or mass. The last answer is from Alan II Dolfo, he said, The views on the concept of motion is acceptable, but I think the Newton's law of gravity explains it simpler. So, what do you think? Comment your insights below! I am officially announced that the form is no longer accepting responses. Thank you, see ya! And... Keep safe, everyone.